Hello everyone this is part 6 of what if Naruto married Eno, and I hope you guys enjoy this video and to like, to subscribe, to see more comment down below, now let's start the intro. They arrived at the apartment and Naruto laid Ino down on their bed and opened their closet and pulled out a bag and came over smiling as he handed it to Ino, here you go babe, here is your gift. Ino opened the bag excitedly and looked at the different TV series that he had bought her, all of the Supernatural seasons, Spartacus seasons 1 to 3, Strike Back seasons 1 and 2, The Walking Dead seasons 1 and 2 and Camelot season 1. Naruto we have so much to watch. Naruto smiled at her as he took the first season of The Walking Dead from her and put in the first disc then came back to lay down with her. She instantly started to cuddle into his chest as they watched TV and Naruto's clones worked on the house. When the clones finished during the night they all dispersed into smoke and Naruto smiled as he absorbed all of their memories, our house is ready for us to move in tomorrow Ino-chan. Ino smiled up at him as they continued to watch the first season of The Walking Dead and she eventually fell asleep on his chest. When he noticed that she had fallen asleep he turned it off and fell asleep as well as he held her close to him. They woke up the next morning and Ino started to pack up their clothes while Naruto had clones move all the larger things. Naruto kept smiling at her as they emptied their old apartment and his clones carried the end of it to their new home and put it all in its proper place as Naruto and Ino locked their apartment for the last time and then turned in their keys to the owner of the land. When they finished paperwork releasing the apartment they went to their new home and she had a huge smile as they approached it. Naruto couldn't help but smile at how happy she looked, he picked her up and carried her into their new home, so dear, are you going to bring your special flowers from your secret garden to our shop? Ino looked at him and smiled, it was a good idea since her parent didn't have those flowers at their shop then nodded her head, I guess I will have to show you where it is so that you can help me carry them here. Naruto smiled as he looked at her, and it only took a little over three years for me to convince you to let me see it Ino-chan. Ino blushed a little at his comment, she smiled as he wrapped his arms around her and smiled at her, it was something that was very personal is all Naruto-kun, I would have shown it to you eventually I swear. Naruto kissed his wife on her neck and she kept on smiling at him and he smiled back, I wanted to see it but I knew that it was something that was personal to you Ino chan and I wouldn't have rushed you. Ino's smile got bigger as she leaned back into his chest some more and he held her closer to him as his smile got larger as well, I think that we have done enough today though love, let's go lay you down. Ino smiled as he picked her up again and she looked at him, you are going to be carrying me a lot while I am pregnant aren't you Naruto-kun. Her husband smiled and nodded at his wife and kissed her gently as he carried her up the stairs then he laid her down in their bed and she snuggled on the bed. Naruto put in the next disc of The Walking Dead for them to watch and then laid down with her as she cuddled into his chest like always. The next day Naruto woke up and made breakfast for them and smiled as their new kitchen was a lot bigger to make the breakfast. He heard Ino wake up and start to throw up, he ran upstairs quickly and opened the door to the bedroom and then the bathroom. Naruto bent down to hold back her hair as he rubbed her back as she threw up and she looked at a concerned Naruto, it's okay Naruto-kun, it's just morning sickness, I will have to deal with this for 8 more months. Naruto still had a concerned look as he rubbed her back as she threw up again and he looked at her, I made you some pancakes for breakfast if you think you will be able to eat it love. Ino nodded as she flushed the toilet and washed her hands and face and walked out of the bathroom to go down the stairs with Naruto to eat the breakfast he made for her, Ino-chan if you can't eat it don't force yourself, I don't want you throwing up more because of me. Ino smiled as she ate the food that Naruto made for her, the baby isn't refusing to eat anything yet babe, so don't worry about it just yet okay. Naruto nodded as he ate his food but was keeping an eye on, on her as they ate and when she finished he grabbed her plate for her. Naruto told her stay sitting there and went and washed the plates in the sink, he didn't want her doing anything that she didn't need to do. Naruto came back to see Ino smiling as she had her hand on her stomach and he leaned in the archway as he watched her with a content smile, Ino then looked at him, okay Naruto-kun, I think that it is time we go to my garden so we can transfer the plants and flowers to bring them here. Naruto smiled and nodded grabbed about 12 pots so he could transfer them into the backyard to grow them closer to transfer them into the shop. 
Naruto followed after her and her garden was actually relatively close to the lake where they first told each other that they loved the other and Naruto saw the ten different rare flowers and got to work. Ino went to help him but he told her no, she glared at him but eventually agreed to just supervise him and he carefully transferred the ten different types of rare flowers for her and used shadow clones to take them home and the real Naruto picked Ino up and smiled as she rolled her eyes. The two walked through the town and Naruto stopped at a booth of flower seeds and Ino picked out about 30 different flower seeds and then asked Naruto how many she should get. Naruto just smiled and took them and paid for them all and gave her the bag and she smiled and kissed him gently as they continued to their home. They got home and Naruto went to sit down but Ino went to the greenhouse in the back that was connected to the store and he followed her, babe, why don't you wait till tonight for that, it's hot in here right now. Ino looked at Naruto and then back at the flower seeds, okay but only if you help me tonight Naruto-kun, otherwise I don't think I will finish today. Naruto smiled and nodded as he came and put his hands on her sides and kissed her cheek, you know all you have to do for my help is ask babe. Ino smiled and they left the greenhouse for now and then as promised he came back with her later and helped her plant the seeds. Time passed and for the first three months of Ino's pregnancy Naruto did all he could but was feeling pretty useless and it was starting to really bother him. Ino woke up in the middle of the night throwing up and he helped her into the bathroom and held her hair back until she calmed down and then cleaned up the floor where she missed the wastebasket and got out the bag and took in downstairs and threw it away. Naruto came back inside and upstairs and Ino was sitting up in the bed, Ino-chan are you okay, is something wrong? I will call Shizun right away. Ino smiled as she looked at Naruto and told him to stop and he looked at her with confusion in his eyes and she motioned for him to sit down, Naruto-kun what has been wrong with you lately? Naruto didn't know a lot about pregnancy but he knew that having her worrying about him wasn't good for her or the baby as he sat on the bed looking the other way, I just feel so useless. Dot all I am able to do is rub your back when you get sick. Ino knew it was something like this that had been bothering her husband and pulled him down onto the bed and cuddled into him, idiot husband. Naruto put his arm around her and kissed the top of her head and held her there, all he could do was this it seemed like. Ino looked up at him and made him look at her, Naruto-kun, you do a lot more than that for me, it may not seem like it since you have always done it for me but you do. You always make sure I don't push myself, you see what I want to eat so that the baby doesn't make me sick, you do things that I can do as well and you're always there for me whether I need you or not. There are a lot of things that you do for me just because it is the way that you are so stop thinking like that because you actually do them normally and like right now, how you hold me makes me calm and relaxed because you make me feel safe. Naruto looked at her and smiled a little, she always was able to make him feel better when he was feeling like he wasn't good enough or doing enough and he leaned down and kissed her gently, thank you Ino-chan, I don't know what I would do without you. Ino smiled and nuzzled into his chest and she laid there comfortably, that is obvious, you would never have been as happy as you are now because you wouldn't have me as your wife and you would be insanely jealous of whoever I was with. Naruto laughed and kissed the top of her head again and smiled, you are probably right about that Ino-chan, but you would be jealous as well babe, jealous that your man didn't have all I have to offer. Ino smiled and kissed him on his chest and laid her head back down, I guess that is a possibility but it's not something we have to worry about since I am the only one who gets all that you have to offer. Naruto smiled and nodded and kissed her forehead, of course my dear, you are the only one that ever gets to see all that I got to offer. Ino smiled and nuzzled her head on his chest some more and then slowly fell asleep as she laid on her husband's chest. More time passed and Ino was now bedridden at eight and a half months by Shizun although to be honest Naruto had her bedridden since about six months when she threw up a little blood. That had sent him into a panic and he called Shizun and had Ino lying down and refused to let her up, threatening to tie her down. Naruto came into the room when her movie that she was watching was about to end and smiled at her, hey love, do you need anything? She had told him to stop lying in bed with her all the time so he had done house chores and worked out a lot recently but came back every time her movies were about to end to change the disc and see if she needed anything. Naruto looked at the nice watch that Ino had bought him for his last birthday and saw that he was a little early and Ino said she had to go to the bathroom. Naruto nodded and walked over to her side of the bed and helped her out of the bed and helped her to the bathroom and let her go by herself, he had followed her in one time and she beat him half to death and he heard the doorbell, Ino-chan, can you get back to the bed on your own, someone is at the door. 
Eno rolled her eyes in the bathroom, it was sweet how much he worried and cared but he was driving her crazy, Naruto kun I am pretty sure I can walk 15 feet and lie back down. Naruto knew that he was driving her crazy and he was hoping he wasn't making her too angry with him but this was Shizune's orders after all, okay babe. I will be back after I see who it is to change your discs and I will bring you some cold water okay. Naruto walked out of the bedroom and he went to the front door to see Shizun. Hello Naruto, I am here to check on Ino. Naruto nodded and opened the door for her since she knew where the bedroom was and he got Ino some fresh ice water and went up the stairs quietly. Naruto got to the door and opened it and Ino was in bed and smiling as she had her hands on her stomach and Naruto looked at Shizun, what's up? Shizun looked at him and smiled, about another week or so and the baby will be here, I think she is excited to get out of bed. Naruto smiled as he put Ino's new water down as he grabbed her old cup and looked at her, yeah I am driving her crazy so I am sure she needs a break from me but I won't give it to her. Naruto leaned down and kissed her on her forehead and put in the next disc for her and looked at the back to see how long it would be and then walked to the door, enjoy your disc Ino-chan, when it's done I will make you dinner. I will be back in around two hours. Naruto took one last look at his watch and closed the door behind him as she looked at him and sighed, Naruto-kun come back here. Naruto opened the door and looked at her with a concerned look, do you need something Ino-chan, is something wrong? Ino smiled and told him to come watch her movie with her and he smiled and came and laid down with her and put his arm around her, not that I mind but why the change, I thought you didn't want me watching the movies with you anymore babe. Eno cuddled into him and watched her movie, it's not that I didn't want you watching the movies but just because I am bedridden doesn't mean you need to be. Naruto got comfortable as she cuddled into him and he held her close to him and looked at her, well maybe I wanted to stay here with my wife, think about that. Eno rolled her eyes at this and she just continued to lay her head on him and he stroked her hair, I just didn't want to be the reason you laid here all day as well, it drives me crazy so it would do the same to you. Naruto rubbed Ino's stomach and held her close to him, I wouldn't mind going crazy as long as I got to spend time with you. Ino sighed as she laid on his chest and smiled a little at his idiotic comment, you are such an idiot Naruto-kun, but you are my idiot. The week passed quickly and Ino went into labor and Naruto was a nervous wreck and she was a terror in delivery. She had somehow gotten a hold of kunai that she had been throwing at Naruto and he had been letting just hit him if it made her calm down a little. The delivery finally passed and Naruto and Ino now had a son and Ino started to come out of her rage and saw all the kunai in Naruto, oh my god. Naruto-kun what happened to you? Naruto looked at her and the ten kunai stuck in his body, plus one above his eye and smiled a bit, oh this, well you went into a rage and started throwing kunai at me, yelling at me for getting you pregnant. Where were you getting the kunai from anyways? Ino looked and saw a summoning marker on a piece of the bedding and smiled, I guess that it was this, can we take him out now please? I don't like to see you all injured. Naruto nodded and started to pull out the kunai and the hole started to heal up and he pulled the one out above his eye and it healed but left a scar, interesting. Naruto felt the scar above his right eye and looked at Ino and smiled, all better now sweetheart, after our son is done getting all his weighing and all that done they should be bringing him back. Ino smiled and then reached up and touched the scar above his eye and looked at him, I am sorry Naruto, I scarred your perfect body. Naruto smiled and lifted up his shirt and didn't see any scars and looked at her, I don't see any scars do you? Ino smiled and blushed as she looked at her husband's perfect body and reached out to touch it and Naruto got closer so she could and she rubbed her hand on his six pack, so sexy Naruto-kun, we can have sex again now too. Naruto smiled at her and leaned down and kissed her gently and put his hand on her cheek and winked at her, I think we should wait till you're out of the hospital baby, you're too tired for that right now. Ino blushed and she pulled him into another kiss and smiled at him, okay Naruto-kun but soon husband, very soon we will be getting physical again and a lot. Naruto smiled and let out a small laugh as he kissed her forehead, we will have a lot of our plate with a child now as well, are you going to use your birth control patches again now dear? Ino nodded at him and pulled him into her bed with him and laid her head on his shoulder, I know you want a family Naruto-kun but I think that one is enough for now, you understand right? Naruto smiled and kissed her forehead again as he stroked her hair and then replied, I told you a long time ago that I didn't care if it was just you and I forever Ino-chan, now that we have a child I am even happier.
I could be happy with just us three for the rest of my life okay baby, so don't you start worrying about things like that. Eno smiled and cuddled into him and fell asleep on his shoulder as he held her closely and Ina, Anoiki, Sunid, Shizun, Kiba and their child came into the room. Shizun handed Naruto the paperwork as Eno slept on him and he filled it all out, they talked about everything so he knew all the information, the only thing that was left was she had to sign to claim the child as his mother. Naruto smiled and kissed her on her forehead and she slowly woke up and saw all the people in the room and panicked, what are all you doing here? Naruto laughed a little and handed Ino the pen and she looked over all the paperwork quickly and signed everywhere she was supposed to and Naruto handed it back to Shizun, so you named him Minato Jirai Uzumaki ha, huh? that you're doing Naruto. Naruto smiled at the name and Ino looked at him and saw how his smile was a happy and emotional smile and she spoke up, no I chose the name actually, Naruto had picked out, Toge Uzumaki so it had a Uzumaki and Yamanaka thing for his first name. Anoiki smiled as Naruto was handed his son by Shizun and he held him carefully, scared of hurting his child, don't worry Naruto, you will start to ease into holding the child over time. Naruto smiled as he held his son, his son had his whisker marks and platinum blonde hair like Ino and he had Naruto's deep eyes with a ring of lighter blue at the tips that matched Ino's eyes. Naruto held Minato close to him and Ino smiled at the sight and she looked over at everyone, well so everyone knows Kiba is the godfather of Minato and the godmother is Tenten. Kiba smiled as he looked at his godson and the happy couple, well I am glad that I was able to clean up my act, hate to be a disappointment to my godson. Naruto smiled at his friend, he was happy that he was able to clean up his act recently, the two of them still went out drinking every now and then but he was always responsible while drinking. Naruto looked at Ino who had fallen asleep on him again and he smiled and looked at everyone, Mr. and Mrs. Yamanaka, would you like to hold your grandson and then let Sunid hold him. They nodded and Naruto carefully passed Minato to them and put his arm around Ino again as she smiled and cuddled into his shirt and then nuzzled uncomfortably. Kiba then noticed the scar over Naruto's right eye, Naruto how come you have a scar over your right eye? Naruto looked over at him and smiled a little, Ino went into a bit of a rage while in delivery and threw kunai at me and if it made her calm down I didn't dodge, one left a scar though which is odd. Ino groaned in her sleep and Naruto smiled and leaned forward a little bit and took off his shirt and she cuddled into his chest and he smiled happily at her and looked at the others, she would have kept fidgeting if I left the shirt on sorry. Naruto and the others talked and then the door opened and Tenten, Neji and Sakura all walked in and Naruto looked at Sakura as she starred at his shirtless form, why are you here Sakura, you're just going to cause issues and Ino isn't in the shape to deal with that. Sakura continued to stare at Naruto's shirtless form and then Kiba yelled and he woke Ino up, Sakura leave. Ino's eyes shot open and she looked at Naruto's bare chest and pulled the blanket up to cover his chest, why are you near my family Sakura. Sakura snapped out of it as Naruto's chest was covered and she looked at Ino and smiled, I came to see my godchild. Ino and Naruto rose their eyebrows, your godchild. You aren't the godmother to Naruto and my child that is Tenten. Sakura looked at the blondes in disbelief and replied slowly, wait, you picked someone else to be the godmother of your child. Naruto looked at her and rolled his eyes, how could she really be surprised by this, of course we did, we don't want you in our lives and we thought we had made that extremely clear. Sakura stormed out of the room and Ino smiled as she scooted the blanket down Naruto's chest a little again and laid her head on him, I love laying on your chest Naruto-kun. Naruto smiled as he kissed her forehead and looked over at Tenten and Neji who had tension between them since they had broken up two months ago and Naruto sighed, don't start your fighting right now you two, Kiba can I ask a favor of you. Kiba nodded as he was handed Minato from Sunid and smiled as he looked up at Naruto, yeah sure, what do you need me to do? Naruto reached into his pocket and pulled out his keys and took off his house key can you go and water the flowers for me, Ino can't leave the hospital till tomorrow and I would prefer to stay with her all night in case she needs something. Kiba nodded his head as he handed Minato to Tenten and then grabbed the key, I can but I don't know how much to give them, can you over water a flower? Ino shot up in the bed and begged Naruto not to send him and ruin her flowers and Naruto smiled, okay babe, I will go and water the flowers for you okay. Tenten then spoke up, I will go with Kiba and help him water the plants, I have been helping Naruto do it the last couple of months. Ino gave a sigh of relief and laid back down on Naruto and smiled at her best friend, thank you Tenten, I really appreciate it. 
Tenten smiled and nodded as she passed Minato to Neji who quickly put the baby in rolling bed and nodded and left and Tenten and Kiba grabbed the key from Naruto and left to water the flowers and everyone else left as well and Ino nuzzled into Naruto, Naruto-kun, I love you. Naruto smiled at her and leaned down and started to kiss her gently and then broke the kiss and smiled at her some more, I love you more Ino-chan. Ino smiled as she slowly fell asleep on his chest for a couple of hours until she was awakened by the sound of Minato crying. Naruto woke up as well and got out the bed and picked him up and held him and Ino signaled for Naruto to give him to her and he did and she breastfed Minato. Naruto stretched as he was up and smiled at his wife and child. I think that you are going to be released to go home tomorrow Ino-chan. Ino nodded as Minato finished and she handed him back to Naruto and Naruto laid him down in the little crib that was right there and laid back down with Ino as she laid on him and looked up at him, Naruto-kun, I want to go on a date soon as well. Naruto smiled at her and nodded his head at her and held her close as she fell asleep as he looked at her with loving eyes, of course baby. Ino was released from the hospital the next day and Naruto walked her home with their son and smiled the whole way there and she noticed it, what are you smiling about Naruto-kun? Naruto smiled at her as he walked hand in hand with her and Minato in his other arm, why shouldn't I be smiling, I am married to the most beautiful woman there is and I have a son now. Ino smiled as she looked at him and nuzzled into him as they walked, you still think I am the most beautiful woman after getting so fat while pregnant. Naruto leaned down and kissed her and smiled at her, baby you are always going to be the most beautiful woman in the world to me. Ino smiled and walked with her husband and child and as soon as she got home she got to work on her flowers despite Naruto telling her to take it easy. Naruto took Minato upstairs and put him in the crib in the room across from Naruto and Ino's room and smiled as he turned on the monitor and had the other in his pocket then went back downstairs and watched as Ino tended to her flowers with a smile on her face. Ino looked over at Naruto and smiled as she went back to work on her flowers, I think that we will be ready to start selling the flowers in a couple more months. Naruto smiled and nodded at her, hopefully by the time my leave is up or around the same time the flowers will be ready so you aren't bored at home while I am gone on my missions. Ino smiled as she finished watering the last flowers and put down the pail and walked over to him and wrapped her arms around him, we still have four months of leave time though so I don't have to worry about you leaving just yet. Naruto put his arms around her and leaned down and caught her lips in a kiss and smiled at her, no need to worry babe, you know I will always come home to you. Ino smiled as she looked up at him and he looked like he was thinking about something, what are you thinking about Naruto-kun? Naruto snapped out of it and looked down at her and gave a small smile, I am just thinking about something is all Ino-chan. Ino looked at him and then had him sit down and she sat down next to him on the couch and cuddled into him, tell me what it is Naruto-kun. Naruto looked at her and then smiled a little bit, I am wondering if more than we thought of the QB went into Minato, my regeneration was slower and I got a scar after his birth. I am just trying to figure it all out, to see if there is something else to it that I am not seeing, I know QB is still inside me I made sure last night but I can't shake the feeling there is something else to it. Ino put her hand on his cheek and kissed him and then smiled at him, let's go and talk to Kyubi then Naruto-kun. Naruto looked at her with concerned eyes, the last time that she was in there things didn't go well, are you sure about this Ino-chan, last time? Ino put her finger on his lips and smiled at him, I know what happened last time Naruto-kun but I want to know as well and I don't want you leaving out details. You do have a tendency of doing things like that Naruto-kun. Naruto gave a small smile and then nodded his head at her and put his hand on her forehead and transported them both into his mind, hey Kurama are you here? A giant red eye appeared and his teeth showed as he smiled and walked out of the cage and saw Naruto and Ino, oh Ino came back huh, that is surprising. Ino smiled as she looked at the QB and stepped forward, I admit that I don't enjoy being here that much but Naruto-kun has a tendency of leaving out information that I consider important. Naruto scratched the back of his head and Kyubi looked at the two of them and Naruto looked at Kyubi, we have some questions we would like answered if possible. Kyubi sat down and looked at the two of them and waited for the questions to begin and Ino took the lead, what did Minato inherit from you and Naruto-kun? Kyubi sat there and looked at her, regeneration, high chakra, high stamina, heightened senses, high speed and things like that why? Ino looked at Naruto who stepped forward and spoke up, well after Minato was born my regeneration slowed down and I actually have a scar above my eye now. 
QB shrugged at the comment, well I don't know, I suppose it is possible that the regeneration abilities might have been split between you two. The chakra I was able to give him was from the power that you radiate when you and Eno make love, I channeled that and into him so he has a chakra supply that regenerates and grows on its own. Naruto scratched his chin as he thought about it. I suppose that would explain the regeneration slowing down and leaving a scar, I had too many things regenerating that it left a scar. Ino watched as Naruto tried to analyze everything to make sure their son would be okay and she looked at QB. you said he radiates his power when we make love. Are you saying that while we have sex he is more powerful than he usually is from us being physical? QB looked at her and Naruto looked over at her and then back at QB. yes, his primal instincts are at their highest at that point and he starts to create more QB chakra than he can house so it radiates off of him. It is part of why your intercourse is so intense for you Eno, his chakra is coming out of him and increasing your pleasure. Eno looked back at Naruto and he looked at her and smiled, it all makes sense to me Eno-chan and I got what I wanted out of this meeting, is there anything else you need to ask Kurama? Eno shook her head no and he put his hand on her forehead and sent her out of his mind and looked back at Kurama, my regeneration will stop now won't it Kurama? Kurama looked at him and then smiled, I figured that you would have saw the gap that was there and wait till she was gone. You will still be healed but only internally since it threatens my existence, but scars will be left on your body from now on. I put most of your regeneration abilities into Minato, I figured that is what you would want anyways. Naruto nodded and then said goodbye and left his mind and Ino was looking at him, you sent me out before you finished talking to Kurama didn't you? Naruto smiled at her and kissed her gently and she pulled away and starred at him, not this time Naruto-kun, tell me what you talked about right now. Naruto scratched the back of his head and sighed as he looked at her and stood up, my body will stop regenerating on the surface which means I will get scars but I will keep healing internally. His explanation had a gap in it that I picked up on and when I sent you out of my mind I asked him about it, that was the explanation that I got. Eno looked at him and pulled him back onto the couch with her and started to kiss her husband, just means you will look even scarier to the enemies with Scar's baby. Naruto smiled at her and put his hand on her cheek and pulled her into a deep kiss and smiled at her, I love you so much Eno-chan. Eno smirked at him and then pulled him closer and gave him a seductive look as he looked at her, how about we have a little fun Naru. She stopped when the monitor on Naruto's belt started to have a crying sound and he smiled at her, our child needs us baby, we can tonight if you want to babe. Eno smiled at him and kissed him gently as she slid off of him and they went upstairs and Eno sat down as he got their child and she started to breastfeed as Naruto went downstairs to make them both dinner, he decided on her favorite. When Ino was done feeding Minato she came downstairs to find Naruto making her favorite food and she smiled as she wrapped her arms around him, making my favorite ha, huh? you were already going to get laid tonight Naruto-kun. Naruto smiled at the comment and continued to make her favorite, I am not making it for that, I am making it because I think that you would like to have your favorite food again. Eno smiled at her husband and tightened her grip around him, you always just want to make me happy don't you Naruto-kun. Naruto smiled and nodded at her as he continued to make her favorite and she went and sat down as he finished making it and brought it to the table for her and he went and got Minato and sat him in his chair at the table and smiled at his son as he ate dinner with his wife. True to her word that night her and Naruto made love, both had a lot of pent up sexual urges that they wanted to release and both made sure the other was completely satisfied. As they finished and she laid on his chest they heard the monitor going off and Eno went to get up and Naruto pinned her to the bed, I got it babe, you get some sleep since I wore you out. Eno blushed and nodded at him and he leaned down and kissed her and walked into his son's room and picked him up out of his crib and smiled at him. Naruto picked up Minato and smiled at him and went to change his diaper, hey buddy, I know you were expecting your mommy but daddy made her too tired. From what Kurama told me it sounds like you are going to have the ability to do that to women as well, your mommy can't get enough of me. He smiled as he knew that the monitor was still on and he had a feeling Eno was in their bedroom with a blush and he was right, he grabbed the monitor and smiled, are you blushing babe? Eno glared at the monitor and rolled over in the bed, she would get her retaliation for this was all she could think about. Naruto smiled and put the monitor back down as he finished changing his son and picked him up and sat in the chair and held Minato. He started to rock Minato back to sleep and smiled at him as he watched his son's eyes close, yawn and fall asleep.
Naruto kept on rocking Minato for about 15 more minutes and then laid him down gently in his crib and went back to his bedroom and laid down but Eno didn't turn to lay on his chest, Eno-chan are you okay? Eno turned her head and looked at him and smiled at him, you're being taught a lesson tonight Naruto-kun for teasing me like that. Naruto smiled as he put his hand on her hip and got closer to her and kissed her neck tenderly receiving a moan from her, I'm sorry I teased you Eno-chan. Naruto kissed her on the cheek and then rolled over and smiled to himself knowing that she would soon be cuddling into him. Eno was trying her hardest to not give in to his tricks but she groaned and looked back at him, damn you Naruto-kun, I hate that your little tricks work. Naruto laid on his back and she cuddled into him and he smiled as he kissed the top of her head, I know Eno-chan, I just want to hold you is all. Eno buried her head into his chest and smiled, she liked when he said things like that to her but why wouldn't she like to hear that from her husband, I love you Naruto-kun. Naruto smiled as he held her tightly to him and kissed her forehead, I love you more Eno-chan and I always will. Eno mumbled about him not loving her more than she loved him and she slowly drifted off to sleep on his chest and he smiled as he fell asleep as well. The last couple months of Naruto's leave time was like this, he helped out with Minato as much as possible and he was there for the opening of Inos flower shop. Eno had gotten back to looking the same as before the pregnancy, saying, I can't stay fat or else I will go insane. Naruto was packing his gear for the S-rank mission that he had to go on with Kiba and Neji, he should only be gone for a couple of days at the most with all three of them going. Naruto finished packing and came downstairs and walked into the flower shop where Ino was and Minato was in his playpin so she could keep an eye on him. Ino looked up to see him in his gear and sighed, she wasn't looking forward to this since some of her biggest fears now were losing Naruto and failing Minato. Naruto put down his bag and wrapped his arms around Ino and kissed her on her cheek and turned her to look at him, what's wrong Ino-chan? Ino looked at him and then wrapped her arms around him pulling him close and he knew for sure that something was wrong with his wife and picked her up and sat her on the counter and looked at her, Ino Uzumaki, what's wrong? She looked him in his eyes and she started to tear up a little, I don't want to lose you Naruto-kun or fail Minato and they are both able to happen so easily when you're on missions. Naruto put his hand on her cheek and she looked at him and he smiled at her, Ino-chan, you are an amazing mother and won't fail Minato in any way. As for me you know that I am too damn stubborn to die and Kyubi won't let me die, plus I have a beautiful wife and son to come home to. Ino smiled a little at him and pulled him into a passionate kiss and when they broke he looked at her and smiled back, you better come home or I will kick your ass in the next life to Naruto-kun. Naruto laughed a little and put his hand on her cheek and pulled her into another kiss, I believe you too Ino-chan. Ino smiled and released him and he picked up his four-month-old son and smiled at him, hey buddy, be sure to take care of your mommy for me okay? Don't let some guy come in here and steal her away from me while I am gone. Naruto kissed his son on his cheek and got a giggle out of him and he smiled and put him back in the playpin and Minato started to play with the balls in there again and Naruto walked back over to Ino, I'll be back in a couple of days at the most Ino-chan, I love you. I asked for Tenten to come and check in on you every now and then while I am gone so don't get mad at her for being around. Eno put her hand on his cheek and pulled him into one last kiss and smiled at him, come home soon Naruto-kun. Naruto smiled at her and then grabbed his gear and walked out of the flower shop as Tenten was coming in and Naruto said hello and a quick goodbye to the kunoiki and looked back at Eno one last time and then was off to the front gate to meet Neji and Kiba. Naruto arrived at the front gate and sighed as he looked at his friends and adjusted his gear for the mission, all right let's get going so I can get home to my family quicker. Neji and Kiba both nodded, they knew neither Naruto nor Ino were happy about the fact that Naruto was now on missions again. The three Junin quickly leapt off through the forest towards the Oto border where there had been Oto Junin spotted recently. The three high-level shinobi quickly got to the border within a couple of hours from their high abilities and they landed on branches and looked at each other and saw that the rumors were indeed true that Oto Junin were patrolling inside of the fire border. Naruto sat on the branch and observed, there were four of them and he then they nodded at each other and they took down the four Oto Junin and Naruto made one clone to take the spot of the fourth and they followed the route the four Oto Junin were going and arrived at their base and they looked around and then they split up into two teams, the real Naruto with Kiba and Neji and the clone and started to observe the camp until they noticed the patrol never came back and then they would assault the base. 
Meanwhile with Eno, Minato and Tenten at the flower shop Eno was sitting on a stool worrying about Naruto still and Tenten spoke and snapped her out of it, you don't need to worry so much, they are the top three Junin for a reason. Eno sighed as she looked at her friend and then looked at her son and smiled at how he reminded her of Naruto except that he had her platinum hair and her eyes, I can't help worry about him, he is my idiot after all. Tenten laughed at how her friend called her husband an idiot, you know I don't think he would let anyone else call him an idiot. Eno smiled at her friend's comment, since Hinata didn't really talk to Eno, because of the fact she was married to Naruto who was still best friends with Kiba, Tenten had become her best friend. Eno picked her son up out of the playpin and put him on the counter and smiled at her son and tickled his stomach a little bit, there are a lot of things that he lets me get away with that he wouldn't let other people get away with. Do you want to say hi to Aunt Tenten? Tenten reached out her arms and picked up Minato and held him on on her knee and bounced him a little bit. How is my godson today, huh? Minato giggled again and Eno smiled at the sight and then went back to wondering about her idiot and if he was okay and going to come home within a couple days or a week or more. Naruto and the others sat in the trees watching the Oto camp that was inside of the Fire Country border and he sent a mental message to his clone to relay the same message that he said to Kiba. Naruto looked over at Kiba and spoke quietly, they are picking up activity, I think that they might have noticed that the patrol hasn't come back yet. The clone sent back that Neji was watching with his Byakugan and that they did seem more frantic and Kiba could smell that they were getting ready to mobilize and they all agreed that they would wait until nightfall to make their move. The three Konohagaku Junin watched as night fell and Neji and Naruto's clone attacked from the flank of the Oto camp and Kiba and Naruto attacked from the front. Kiba and Akamaru broke down the gate with a fang over fang and took out the guards and Naruto charged in and made ten more clones of himself and they all drew their blades. Naruto had two of his clones watch the exit so that none would escape that way and Kiba and Akamaru went left with two of Naruto's clones and Naruto and the other six clones went right as the first Naruto clone and Neji were both coming down the middle wiping out the Oto Junin that got in their way. Naruto worked well with both of his friends, to preserve Chakra for a dire situation both Neji and Kiba used their more basic but powerful attacks like Fang over Fang and Neji's 8 trigrams and Naruto would take out the ones that Neji stunned or avoided Kiba's Fang over Fang while Naruto and his clones relied on speed and Kenjutsu mainly with the occasional raising gun here and there. They charged through the camp and within a couple of hours they had taken care of the entire camp except for a team of three like them that were holding off against Naruto's clones. Naruto was standing there watching as Neji and Kiba landed next to him and watched as the three Oto Junin dispatched of the last of Naruto's clones and Kiba smiled as he spoke, looks like there were people actually worth our time here after all. Naruto smiled as well, from what I have seen they rely a lot on teamwork to back each other up, why don't we break them up into one-on-one -on -one fights and have a little bit of fun. His friends agreed and they all charged at high speeds and Naruto took the one in the middle and delivered a hard kick to the chest of the man and sent him tumbling and Naruto flashed towards him. Kiba appeared next to the one on the left and delivered a hard kick to the side of his head sending him flying away and Kiba followed after him as Neji stared at the one who was left and activated his Byakugan and dropped into his Hyuga style pose. Naruto charged at his enemy as he pushed himself off of the ground and Naruto picked up his speed activating the nature chakra he gathered while doing recon to enter sage mode just to be safe. Naruto picked up speed and delivered a hard knee into the rib cage of his opponent and he went skidding back as he dropped to his knee from what felt like a couple broken ribs. Naruto smiled as he stood there looking at his opponent, not bad, doing good work for my first opponent I have fought in a year. I guess all that sparring with Kiba actually paid off in the end. Naruto dropped down into a Kenjutsu stance and flashed at him and looked like he was going to cut on the left side of the Oto Junin but his sage mode kicked in and he flashed onto his right side and cut through his side and he fell to the ground bleeding. Naruto turned around and put his blade to the man's neck and then brought the blade back and sliced through his neck in one go and he turned off his sage mode as he could sense that Neji and Kiba had already finished off their enemies as well and he walked back to the center of the camp and they smiled, sweet, I can get home to my wife and son after being gone only about a day. They nodded and then they set the camp on fire and they left and headed back towards Konohagakur and they arrived back within a couple of hours and it was about 3 a.m. They went and reported to Sunid and then Naruto went home and unlocked the door. Naruto went upstairs silently to see Eno already asleep and he went to check on his son and smiled seeing he was asleep as well. 
Naruto went back into his bedroom and went to take a shower since he had blood all over him but little did he know that the sound of water turning on had woke Ino up. Ino woke up to the sound of someone turning on the shower in her bedroom and she slowly reached under her pillow and grabbed her tanto that Naruto had bought her for her last birthday. She quietly unsheathed the blade and snuck up to the bathroom door and opened it slowly, as she saw a figure in the shower she busted through the door and opened the shower door and sliced down the intruder's exposed chest down to the abs and drew back to stab through the intruder through the chest when the words and voice snapped her out of it, ow. Damn it Eno-chan that fucking hurt. Eno blinked a couple times and then realized that the man she had attacked was her husband and watched as a scar appeared as it healed. Naruto wiped off the blood from the attack and turned off the water and grabbed his towel and looked at her, well do I at least get a welcome home or something Ino-chan. Ino was still in shock that Naruto was home and then she realized what she had done and started to tear up as she dropped the tanto, Naruto I am so sorry. Naruto looked at her and put his arms around his wife and kissed her forehead, it's alright Ino-chan, I am fine and I am happy to know that you would kill an intruder. Ino clung to him as she put her hand on his new scar on his chest that she had put on him, he now had two scars on his body and they were both from her. Ino kept rubbing her hand on his scar and he lifted her head to look at him, how is my beautiful wife, did you have a good day while I was on my mission? Ino nodded as she kept on focusing on her husband's chest and he sighed and picked her up and grabbed her tanto off of the ground. Naruto put her on the bed and sheathed her blade and put it back under her pillow as he pulled her sheet up on her and walked around to his side of the bed and laid down and she cuddled into him, I am so sorry Naruto-kun. I keep hurting you. Naruto pulled his wife on top of him and stared into her eyes and kissed her gently on her lips as he smiled at her, it's fine babe, I promise that I am fine so how about me and my beautiful wife cuddle. Ino smiled at him and kissed him passionately and slowly ran her hand lower down his body as she smiled at him with a devious look, we are going to do more than cuddle Naruto-kun. Naruto smiled at her and they started to make love to each other and as they finished he smiled at her, I love you Ino-chan, no matter how crazy you are. Ino glared at him and decided she would let him get away with this one since she did put a long scar on his chest, that is your free pass Naruto-kun. Naruto smiled at her and pulled her close to him and they fell asleep with her laying her head on his chest just above the scar and him holding onto her. Ino woke up at 8am to the sound of crying and slowly got out of bed and got dressed in Naruto's boxes and shirt and went to their son as Naruto slept some more, who wore who out this time Naruto-kun. Ino went into their son's room and got him out of his crib and started to breastfeed him, she was going to switch him to the bottle and formula soon. She took him in and gave him a quick bath and then put him back in his crib and took a shower herself, she smelled like sex. She got in the shower and took a quick shower and and she remembered just a couple hours about when she attacked her own husband in this very spot and sighed, he naturally forgave her instantly. Ino washed her body and then she went into the bedroom to get dressed and noticed Naruto was awakened out of bed somewhere. She walked downstairs to find Minato in his booster seat and Naruto making breakfast for them too and she smiled. She gave Minato a quick kiss on the forehead and when came and put her arms around him and felt his scar and sighed, Naruto-kun. Naruto flipped the pancake and looked over his shoulder at her, if you apologize one more time Ino-chan I am going to hold out on giving you any chakra filled kisses today. Ino made a whining sound and he smiled at her and put the last couple pancakes on a plate and turned to face her, are you going to stop apologizing to me now Ino-chan? Ino slowly nodded and he smiled at her before he picked her up and she wrapped her arms and legs around him as he kissed her passionately and channeled his chakra through his tongue. Like she always did Ino let out a loud moan and they broke the kiss and he smiled at her some more, good morning Ino-chan. Ino snapped out of it and smiled at him as she slid down to her feet and he smiled some more at her, good morning Naruto-kun. Naruto grabbed the two plates of breakfast and took it to the table as they ate and then he helped her around the shop and take care of Minato. They got Kiba and Tenten to watch Minato for them and Naruto was going to take Ino out on a date tonight and was happy to get a little time out of the house with her. Naruto loved his son, just as much as he loved his wife but he did miss his dates with Ino since they didn't get to take them very often. Naruto got dressed in his nicest clothes, the shirt was actually something that Ino had bought for him and that he heard a knocking at the door and walked downstairs and opened the door to see Kiba. 
Naruto smiled and let his friend in and Tenten was already there playing with Minato and Kiba walked over to them and Naruto gave him the basic rundown, there is a bottle of formula milk in the fridge, just heat it up to room temperature and give it to him at 7. Once he finishes he usually falls asleep for an hour and then wakes up needing to be changed, after you change him then he is out for the rest of the night usually but by the time he would wake up Eno-chan and I should be home. There is plenty of food and drinks for you too and there are a crap load of movies down here and some upstairs that Eno and I have been watching together. I caution you to avoid sitting on our bed because I didn't get a chance to change the sheets from last night yet. Kiba knows how to work the TV down here though and it is a bigger TV so I think that you two should be fine. The flower shop is locked and Eno and I already watered all of the flowers so you don't have to worry about the Kiba and I think that is everything. Kiba nodded, it wasn't like it was the first time that Tenten and him watched Minato but at least he didn't have to water the flowers, if he screwed that up Eno would kill him. Naruto smiled at him and heard Eno walking around upstairs so he figured that she was almost done, you have our cell phone numbers in case of an emergency but I have faith in you both. Naruto looked to see that Eno was walking down the stairs in red dress that Naruto had bought for her just because she said she had liked it with her hair down and walked over to him. Tenten smiled at her friend as Eno gave Naruto a quick kiss on the cheek, you look gorgeous Eno, had to look all sexy for your hubby huh? Eno smiled and blushed a little and then nodded her head and Naruto smiled as he put his arm around her waist, you about ready to go Eno-chan, we have reservations at 6.30 at, the Silver Swan, and you know how quickly they give away reservations. Eno nodded and then picked up Minato and smiled at her son and kissed him gently and handed him to Naruto who kissed his forehead, be good for your godparents buddy. Naruto put Minato back into his playpin and he started to play with the orange ball that was in there and Naruto smiled, Eno-chan I think he likes the color orange. Eno just let out a defeated sigh, this was something that she was painfully aware of, yes I know he got his father's terrible choice in color. Naruto smiled as he took his Inos hand and they walked to the Silver Swan, and had a nice dinner together and Eno wondered what else they were going to do, he hadn't told her what they were doing tonight. Naruto smiled as he took her hand and led her to a dancing club and smiled at her, they were playing slower songs and Eno smiled back at him, she loved dancing with her husband. He slowly led Eno onto the dance floor and put his arms around her waist and she put her hands around his neck and he smiled at her some more. They slowly danced on the dance floor and Eno realized that no one else was there and she looked at him, did you rent this whole place out Naruto-kun? Naruto kept smiling at her and nodded his head and she looked at him, why did you do that Naruto-kun, are you being shy? Eno asked in a sarcastic fashion and he smiled at her and shook his head no, I just wanted to have one-on-one -on -one time with you out of the house Eno-chan, we don't get that too often anymore. Eno smiled at him and pulled him in for a kiss as they continued to dance and he smiled at her as they broke the kiss and continued to dance. After they were tired of dancing they went and sat up on the Hockage Monument and watched the stars for a little while and she smiled as she cuddled into his chest, I love you Naruto-kun, you're always so good to me. Naruto smiled at her and she looked up and he kissed his wife and decided he still needed to get back at her for her shot at him earlier, I love you more my crazy wife. Eno glared at him and went to reprimand him but he leaned down and gave her a deep kiss and she gave in then as they broke the kiss and she looked at him, if I am crazy then you are whipped. Naruto laughed at the comment and pulled her closer to him and smiled as they looked up at the stars some more, of course I am whipped Eno-chan, that is the key to a happy relationship. Eno laughed a little at the comment as they watched the stars for about 10 more minutes before they walked home to relieve Tenten and Kiba of babysitting duty but they walked in on the two making out on the couch. Naruto and Eno looked at each other and then at their two friends and Eno spoke up, you know there is a guest room upstairs right, you don't have to ruin my couch. The two stopped and broke from the makeout session and looked at their blonde friends and blushed and Naruto decided to help his wife, oh Eno-chan, it's not like we haven't done pretty much everything on that couch. Eno blushed and looked at her husband as the two other shinobi slowly looked at the couch and got up, we are going to go, we put Minato down about an hour ago. The blonde couple smiled and nodded and let their friends leave and Naruto locked up after them and Eno went upstairs and he found his wife waiting for him to join her in bed for some more fun. Time passed and Minato was going to be turning one today, Naruto and Eno were ecstatic for their son's first birthday. 
they had bought him a cake and everyone was here to celebrate it with them, Ainos parents, Minato's godparents, their other friends and people they considered family. Naruto sat there as Minato walked around and everyone was giving him attention and Ino came and sat on his lap as he instinctively put his arm around her as they watched their son. Ino noticed the large smile on her husband's face and she knew why he had it and she kissed him on the cheek, is his childhood everything you hoped it would be for him so far Naruto-kun? Naruto looked from his son to his wife and gave her a gentle kiss on her lips before he smiled at her, of course Ino-chan, he has the best mother and a loving father, godparents that will always be there for him and grandparents that will love him no matter what. That is all I could ever ask for when it comes to our child Ino-chan. Ino smiled at him and leaned into his shoulder and smiled as they watched their son start to clap as Anoiki played with a stuffed animal with him. Naruto smiled as he watched his son and he clapped his hands some more and his son spoke as he pointed at Anoiki, Grandpa. Ino and Naruto smiled as he recognized his grandfather, he had started to speak at six months but he only recognized a couple of people so far. They watched as Anoiki kept on playing with Minato and then Ino kissed Naruto and got up and Naruto got up as well and came and sit down by Minato and Minato came over to him and hugged his dad, daddy. Naruto smiled at his son and put his arms around him and sat him down on his legs as Ino brought over some gifts for Minato to to open or destroy, whichever he decided on. Tsunid looked at Minato, he was developing quicker than most children did, he walked well already as well as the fact that he was able to form small sentences, Naruto had told her that it was because of the QB. Minato smiled as Ino pushed a present in front of him and he started to rip up the paper, he opted on destroying apparently. It was a gift from Tsunid and Minato was more interested in the paper than the actual gift it seemed and Naruto laughed at this and looked at the new set of clothes that she had bought for Minato, thanks Tsunid. She smiled and nodded and decided to get in her shot, well we can't have him dressing like you did when you were younger, looking at that once in our lives was enough. Naruto shot her a glare and then heard a giggle come out of Ino and he looked over at her, what's so funny, I wasn't the only one obsessed with one color Mrs. Uzumaki. Ino smiled at her husband and gave him a kiss as she moved another present in front of Minato and he saw more paper and went for it and destroyed it. This gift was from Anoiki and Ina and it was some new toys as well as some clothes and Ino and Naruto thanked them. The process continued through all of the gifts, Minato destroyed all of the gift wrapping and Naruto and Ino thanked everyone for the gifts. It was time for Naruto and Ino's gift to their son and he looked at the large box and all the paper that was there and he destroyed all of the paper and was enthusiastic about it and Naruto and Ino smiled at this. They had bought him a bigger play pin and some outside toys for him but he didn't care, he was surrounded by paper and he was only paying attention to that. Naruto and Ino smiled at each other and Naruto let Minato go and he started to play with all the paper and Naruto used his clones to start to move all of his son's new things to his room or outside or wherever they needed to go as Ino went and got the cake. Everyone gathered around as Naruto put Minato in his seat and soon it got ready to take the picture of Naruto, Ino and Minato. Ino and Naruto smiled for the camera and Minato was fascinated by the cake that was just out of his reach and soon it took the picture and Ino blew out the candle on Minato's cake and Naruto was cutting pieces off for everyone. Naruto gave Minato a small piece and they watched as Minato slammed his hand down on it and Naruto smiled, I don't think he likes cake Ino-chan. Ino smiled as she helped distribute all the pieces of the cake and then got a piece for herself to eat and Naruto swiped a bite of it every now and then. Minato had started to yawn as he was destroying the little bit of cake that he was given and Naruto kissed Ino on the cheek and the picked up Minato and took him upstairs. Naruto gave him a quick bath since he had managed to get the cake everywhere, Naruto had no idea how he had cake on his foot but he had somehow managed it. When Minato was nice and clean Naruto laid him down in his crib and turned on the monitor and gave his son a kiss on the forehead and grabbed the other monitor out of his and Ino's bedroom and went back downstairs. He saw that a lot of people had left, only Sunid, Anoiki, and Ina were there still and Naruto put the monitor of the table and offered everyone a drink. They all asked for water so Naruto went and grabbed it out of the fridge and, and grabbed a bunch of glasses and took it into the dining room and poured everyone their water and left the pitcher there for refills, I am going to see if Ino-chan needs help. Naruto went into the kitchen with Ino where she was cleaning dishes and he wrapped his arms around her waist, Babe, why don't you leave that until after our guests are gone and I can help you. 
Eno smiled at him and looked to see she was almost done anyways, I am just about done with the dishes Naruto-kun, after that I will come sit by you all okay. Naruto smiled and kissed her on the neck and then started to help her with the dishes, do you think that Minato enjoyed his birthday Eno-chan? Eno smiled as she grabbed a plate and washed it off and then dried it and put it in the cabinet, I am sure he did, especially destroying things. Naruto smiled as he grabbed the last dish in the sink and cleaned it and dried it, I guess he has a little too much of me in him then doesn't he Eno-chan. Eno smiled as she kissed her husband on the cheek and grabbed a cup of lemonade and walked into the other room with everyone else along with Naruto and they sat down next to each other and Naruto put his arm around her and she leaned into his shoulder. Anoiki was talking to everyone about when they were babysitting Minato and Minato was a little hellraiser just like his father used to be. Naruto smiled as he thought about it and Minato was a lot like him already, he hoped that his son wouldn't become a prankster like he was. Naruto had done it though because he wanted to get any kind of attention that didn't come along with a fist, kick or stab. Naruto looked over at Ino who was looking at him and he smiled at her but Ino knew that something was going through his head but she would wait until later to get an answer from him. They all sat around the table talking for two hours until Kiba and Tenten left and soon it looked at Naruto, so Naruto. QB is sure that they reason that Minato is so advanced at his age is because of his chakra. Naruto looked over at Sunid and then nodded his head, I was the same way at that age, I was walking, talking, running and driving people insane before the other kids my age. Sunid leaned back and thought about it, I would like to give him a physical when he wakes up from his nap, I want to make sure there is nothing else. Naruto gave her an odd look but Ino agreed and Naruto looked at the clock, I probably should go get him up soon or else he won't sleep tonight. Ino nodded and Naruto stood up and went into Minato's room, hey buddy, time to get up, dot hey don't throw things at me. Guess you got some of your mother in you as well. Naruto heard his wife yelling for him to shut up and he sighed as he picked Minato out of the crib, that baby monitor will be the death of me buddy. Naruto came down the stairs holding Minato in his arms and sat him in his chair and soon it stood and pulled her chakra into her hands and started to examine Minato. Naruto watched intensely wondering what it was that Sunid was looking for, eventually she stopped and went sat down and Naruto looked at her, so. Sunid looked over at Naruto and Ino and shrugged, he is perfectly healthy, I guess that it is like Naruto said and it's just from Kyubi Chakra. Naruto smiled as he looked back at his son and put his arm back around Ino and sighed happily, bet that tasted like vinegar saying I was right. Sunid was glaring at him and he smirked at her and she started to mutter under her breath and Ino leaned on Naruto's shoulder as she looked at their son happy that Sunid agreed with Naruto that he was fine and it was just the QB that was what was making their son be able to do things so much sooner than others his age. Ino smiled as Minato wanted down and she put him down on the ground in his playpin with his toys and he picked up a toy and pegged Naruto in the head and Naruto looked over at his son and glared, you have way too much of your mother in you. All of a sudden Naruto felt a light hit in the back of the head from Ino and he looked over at her and she was glaring at him again and he smiled, I wouldn't have you any other way Ino-chan. Ino smiled and put her hand on his cheek and rubbed her finger on the scar above his eye and he kissed her gently, don't start with that Ino-chan. Ino looked at him and smiled as she thought about the large scar on his chest and abs from her and leaned on his shoulder as Naruto got hit in the head by a ball again and he looked and Minato wasn't even looking and on the other side of the playpin and he looked over at Sunid who was quietly drinking her water and he glared, I know that one was you. Sunid looked over at him and smiled as she stood up and picked Minato up off the ground and gave him a kiss on the cheek goodbye and hugged Naruto and Ino, keep him in line Ino. Ino nodded at her mother-in-law and Anoiki and Ina also got up and got ready to leave and said goodbye to the grandchild and to their daughter and son-in-law and left. Naruto smiled as he led Ino over to their couch and put in a movie as Minato played in his play pin for a little while longer and as they watched Minato got tired and came and climbed up onto the couch with them and laid on them and they smiled and Naruto stopped the movie, I will go put him down for the night if you move the movie to our TV in our room. Ino nodded and Naruto gave her a quick kiss and picked Minato up gently and carried him up the stairs to his room and Ino grabbed the monitor, movie, wine bottle and two glasses for her and Naruto. Naruto laid Minato down in his crib and ruffled his hair and smiled and told him to sleep well and he closed the door quietly and went to their bedroom and Ino had already poured them both a glass and had the movie back on and smiled as he entered, hey Naruto-kun. 
Naruto smiled at her as he laid down next to her and put his arm around her as they watched their movie together and drank their wine. When the movie ended Naruto put the glasses off on his end table and as he turned back around Ino climbed on top of him and smirked at him and he smiled back at her, are you in the mood babe? Ino nodded her head and he smiled and leaned up and kissed her passionately pulling her down closer to him and then rolled her over and they made love and when they were done she ran her hand on his scar on his chest and still felt terrible for doing it to him. Naruto knew what she was doing and lifted her chin to look at him and he stared at her, do not do it Ino Uzumaki. Ino gave a small smile and her eyes were drawn to the scar above his eye from her and he sighed and pulled her in and gave her a chakra-filled kiss, it always got her mind off of his scars. As always it worked and she stopped focusing on his scars and cuddled into his chest and he smiled at this and held her close to him as she slowly drifted off to sleep on her husband's chest. That will be it for this video if you want more comment down below, like, subscribe. And see you guys later.